What up guys, it is DJ Barbecue cooking up for you a veggie chili, a sweet potato chili. The sweet potatoes, that's our lead singer. We're also adding in the black beans. We're not doing red beans, we're doing black beans. So I've also got some tomatoes, we've got onions, we've got jalapenos. I do like to eat vegetables, man. It kind of balances all my food out. Let's first chunk up these guys about that size, okay? We got our sweet potatoes. I'm gonna throw them into the roasting pan. Now I'm gonna add loads of flavor to these guys. So first off, some olive oil, get that in there. Give it a little bit of a shake. When I'm cooking uh, barbecue, I make a mix. It's called the mix of rad. Salt, pepper, onion granules, garlic granules, some ground coriander, ground cumin, a bit of mustard powder, and some chili flakes, and then a bit of a brown sugar. That's the mix. If you wanna know how to make this, there's a window up there, and apologies for the spandex and the metal tassels and the metallic hood. I'm gonna sprinkle it onto our sweet potatoes. The oven's rocking at about 190. Now, here's the hack, here's the tip. We've got a bowl of wood chips, right? I'm gonna grab some of these wood chips and put them into my sieve. Fruit woods are great, hickory, oak. So I'm gonna heat these guys up. So many people have commented, how do I get wood smoke flavor, that barbecue flavor in my oven? Well, this is how you do it, man. Don't use a plastic sieve, <laughs> it will not work. And there, so now I've got them um, flaming. So look at all that beautiful wood smoke flavor is rocking. The chunked up sweet potatoes go in. I'm gonna put them down here, get them close. For about 30 to 35 minutes at 190 Celsius, 375 Fahrenheit. Oh, they're gonna be awesome. Now, let's get the chili rocking. So I got a medium heat going, throw in a tablespoon of olive oil, and now onion. So I'm gonna cut it right down the middle, get rid of that outer layer. I'm gonna go kind of medium sized chunks like that. Let's get our two onions rocking. Ooh. So we're gonna soften these guys up. I'm gonna get our other players, and that is jalapeno. You can use chilies. I like jalapenos. So chopping these guys up. The jalapeno goes in. Three cloves of garlic. Chop these guys up. Look at that, three at a time. And I'm gonna soften these up, kinda make them a bit sweeter. Same with that, that, that onion. It's gonna go sweet. We're gonna add the spices to cook amongst all that. So. Cumin, it's needed in chili. Two teaspoons. And then ground coriander. One and two. Earthy vibes. Chili powder, teaspoon. You can go two if you like it hot. Salt and pepper. Season to taste. Get these guys rocking. Tomato puree, so I'm gonna cook some of that in there. Big old tablespoon. And finally, a cinnamon stick. Let's do this. I'm gonna break it up. So I got two cans of organic black beans. I'm gonna uh, rinse these guys out. There is our good friends. So now I'm just gonna give them a bit of a rinse. With your classic chilies, um, you normally would use like a red kidney bean. We're going to the next level using the black bean. Per gram, the most protein of any kind of pulse or bean. Crisp up those skins. I don't wanna mush them up too hard because then I'll make them explode and they'll go all stodgy. I still wanna keep them nice and whole. And now a can of chopped tomatoes. Make sure I get all that goodness out of there. I've got about 350 milliliters of vegetable stock. I'm gonna add in roughly 200. Some people like their chilies kind of more soupy. Some like it a bit thicker. I kind of like it right in the middle. So in with about 200 milliliters. I got a bit more there to play with if I need to kind of loosen things up. All right, so the sweet potatoes have been in the oven for about 15 minutes. They need another 15 uh, to 20. Uh, this stuff's all together. That's not gonna cook for another 20 minutes. We'll see you guys in a bit when we bring all those ingredients to become one. All right, so the sweet potatoes are done. Man, they look so good. Our chili's been going for about 35 minutes. I'm gonna spoon in a bunch of these guys. I'm gonna 
fold these guys through because I don't want them blowing up and they're getting all kind of mushy. I want to kind of retain those chunks, but they're also going to soak up some of that juice. It smells unbelievable. All right, this bit right here, I'm going to get rid of the cinnamon sticks. All right, let's plate up. Rice, coriander stalks, some lime zest, half a juice of a lime, and some salt in here. Here we go. Oh, man, does that look good or what? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of spring onion on top. Grab some of these coriander leaves. I'm gonna bring a bit more heat, sorry. A red chili. Get in there, guys. Oh yeah. Are we going, are we going ELO? Oh, really? Okay. We're going traffic light. We almost forgot about our friend, yogurt, man. So we got that beautiful, you know, hot, spicy, sweet potato chili, that zesty rice, bit of yogurt to kind of calm things down. And of course, we topped it off with some fresh chilies. It's time for the all important taste test. I'm going in. Okay. Mm. Man, that's so good. And look at that sweet potato. And you get that beautiful kind of smoky barbecue flavor with those wood chip little hack that we did in there. Mm. Oh man. You know what? You don't need meat, man. You got your proteins with the black beans. You got your complex carbohydrates with the sweet potato, but you also got loads and loads of amazing flavor. Guys, I love doing gumbos, stews, chilies. Tell me, where are you in this world and what is your local kind of, you know, stewy dish, your soup, you know, what do you guys make? I'm gonna go research that recipe and I might do that recipe for your viewing pleasure and my eating. I'm DJ Barbecue, subscribe to my channel over there, Food Tubes over there, and we'll see you guys next time. And if you wanna see a chili recipe with meat in it, check out my Chili Con Carnage.